not here to make the kids walk away and say, oh, he was with Tupac, he was with the outlaws, or he's a gangster, etc. Hopefully, by me telling my life story will only be a way where some of the kids can take a lesson from it and be happy and proud that Allah guided us to the religion of Islam. At the age of three, I witnessed both of my parents get murdered in front of me. I also got shot in the foot during the killing of my mother and father. One of the guys who killed my parents, he was very close to my, to my father to the point that they was like brothers. And he also looked to the parents and my father as if they was his own parents. After the death of my mother and father, me and my brother, I had a six-month-old brother in the house at the time. And I had a three-year-old brother in the house at the time. To the point that we didn't even went, after the killing of my parents, me and my brothers, we was in the house for 24 hours overnight with the dead bodies. And luckily one of my relatives found us and they took us to our grandparents, etc. Both of my parents, when they got married, before they got married, they both was converts to the religion of Islam. So when they had me and my brothers, alhamdulillah, we was able, we was born as Muslims and we had Muslim parents like most of you guys are here. But growing up with my grandparents, they was Christians, so at a young age they started to make us go to church and they forced us upon the religion of Christianity. And for me, things started to move fast in a better life. I was making a lot of money to the point that I had three brand new houses. I had brand new cars. And I was making a lot of money to the point that I would wake up and travel anywhere around the world just spending whatever I want I was able to get. And if I ask you something that if you basically had three brand new houses, brand new cars, 2009 Lexus, you would be happy. It would be no reason for you to be upset, right? Or no reason for you to be down or depressed or whatever. I thought the same thing until I put myself in that position. And I swear to God, if anybody just basically living their life only for materialistic things, only to get money, only to get rich, only to sell drugs, only to get the main thing focus in life is this dunya, I guarantee you, you would be depressed. A very good close person of mine that I used to be in the music industry that I knew since I was like 14, 15 years old. He produced a million, a hundred million records worldwide. A hundred million records worldwide. He produced many of hits for Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Nas, etc. I get a phone call three months ago from his wife. She was crying hysterically, and she told me that his, his name was Johnny J, and she told me Johnny J just committed suicide. This is a guy who had a house on five acres. He had a mansion. He had a pool in his heart, the backyard, the shape of a heart. He had millions of dollars. And when I asked his wife, I said he had everything. Why would he do something like that? I said, I don't think he killed himself. Maybe somebody killed him. She said, no, he killed his own self. Even though he had the money in the houses and the cars, a wife and a kid, she said, but he wasn't happy in the inside. Fortunately, a lot of Muslim youth, even in this country, they put in the religion of Islam aside, they run it towards a life that people like myself, people like the brother, and, people, and thousands of people in America are running away from. Why would you run towards the hellfire when Allah tells you in the Quran that if you follow this religion, you have a chance to get to Jannah, inshallah. You go to a brother, say, what's your name, Muhammad? He said, no, my name is Mo. He's sagging his pants. He's walking like a gangster. Man, come on, man. This, real gangsters don't even behave like that in the first place. You got Muslims, man, they walking around like gangsters. And you got gangsters in America that's leaving that lifestyle, running towards the religion that many of the Muslims are running away from. Allah doesn't need us, we need Allah. When we walk away from our religion, it's nothing for Allah to replace us with better Muslims. When you stop going to the masjid, you're not at the front row doing your salat no more, this doesn't hurt Allah one bit. Allah will raise up another person who was a Catholic, he will accept the religion, and the same magic that you was making your salat, he will be in a front row making the salat, he will be happy to follow the Quran and the Sunnah. While you want to follow the Sunnah too, Tupac, it will be somebody that will be honored and happy that Allah chose them to follow the Quran and the Sunnah.